Hello and welcome to Lux Crochet. Today I have a hat with all six entries for the giveaway and I'm gonna have my sister pick the name out of the hat. We have one nine zero eight three seven crafts as our giveaway winner. Today I'm gonna be making tall you're going to need purple yarn, white yarn, I'm using red heart, an H size hook, and an I sized hook. Scissors, and a needle. You're also going to need stuffing. So I'm going to start off with a magic ring, and I'm going to single crochet six times into the magic ring. Okay, and I'm gonna pull the tail to close the circle. And we're going to increase in each one. We're not gonna join, so we're gonna put two in each stitch for a total of 12. Okay, so here are all 12. What I like to use is a different color of yarn and use it as a place marker. And now we're going to be single crocheting and then increase in the next one. And you're gonna do that around for 18 stitches. Now we're going to single crochet in two, and then in the third, we're going to increase. We'll end up with 24 stitches by the end of this row. And now for the next five rows, we're going to just single crochet around for those. So, five rows of 24 stitches around. So now we're gonna lightly stuff the ball. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do two single crochets and then we're going to decrease. So one, two, and our decrease, you insert your hook, pull the yarn, and immediately stick it into the next stitch. You'll have three loops. We're going to yarn over and then you pull through all three. It brings two stitches down to one. We're going to follow that around.
Now we're going to single crochet and decrease in the next two. The last row brought you down to 18, this row is going to bring us down to 12 stitches. So I'm going to finish stuffing my ball. We're going to decrease the whole way across, we'll end up with six stitches. Pull that out. If you want to stuff any more, do that because we're about to fasten off. Grab your needle. and so shut. And then I like to make a loop at the end so you can hang it from the ceiling or wherever you'd like to hang it. I just create a loop. And there's the body. Now we're going to make the wings. I switched over to my eye and slip knot, crochet single or chain two. Then we're going to single crochet three into the second chain from the hook. Chain one and turn. Then we're going to increase in the first two stitches. and then one in the third stitch. You'll have five at the end of this row. Chain one, and turn. Single crochet, single crochet again, and then in increase in the next one. single crochet and increase chain one and turn single crochet, increase in the first stitch, single crochet, increase, single crochet.
single crochet in the last three. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in each step stitch on the row. Chain one, single crochet, single crochet again, and increase. Single crochet, increase. And single crochet until the end. And you have your wing. You're going to make two of these large wings. I made mine with a decently long tail so then I can sew it in. So we're going to make two of those. For the smaller wing, we're going to use the same size hook that we used for the body. We're going to chain two, single crochet three times in the second chain from the hook. Chain one, increase in the first two stitches, single crochet in the third one for a total of five stitches on this row. Chain one and we turn. Single crochet, single crochet, increase. Single crochet, increase. Chain one, turn. Increase, single crochet. Increase, single crochet. Single crochet in the next three. We're also going to make two of these. Make sure you have your tail long enough so you can sew it in. Fasten off. So I have two big wings, two little wings, and taut. Decide which area you want to be the back. So weave in the end, back towards the top, towards the flat part, find where you want to place it. You want to place it closer to the top.
and then start sewing in. It'll be a big one and then the little one. You'll do the same for the other side. And this is the final project.